Hi friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is my first video ever. I'm very excited to do this. My name is Elsie. I'm a full-time reseller on Poshmark. I also sell on eBay and Mercari, thanks to Vendu. Today, I have a thrift haul for you. I went to three different stores on two different days. Last Friday, I went to a Goodwill outlet about an hour away from my house. It was out of state and I took my roommate along with me. She's not a reseller, but she loves to thrift. She just loves to come with me and thrift with me. And I love having a thrift buddy, so it works out great. And then the following day, I went to a Goodwill in my area. They were having a 99 cent sale for like a leap day kind of thing. So I went there and got a few good things. And then I ended up going to my local Goodwill bins because my roommate was already there and she was finding great stuff. So I stopped in there to join her for a little bit and I found a few things. So yeah, let's get into the haul. So first I have these Franco Sardo booties. They have a little open heel there. They are real suede. They are the, what was it? I think the humble booty and they are a size seven. So there's a brand. They're really cute. Next I have a pair of Paul Green loafers, which my roommate actually found for me. And this is why I like taking her with me because she finds me great stuff. I've never found Paul Green before, so I was really excited about these. They are a four and a half in Paul Green sizing, which I believe translates to a six and a half in US sizing, but I will have to look it up just to make sure. So yeah, they're really nice. I have a, where's the top of it? I have a black and white kimono. It's just from Robert Lewis. Kimonos do really well for me, so I often just pick them up if they're cute, and, you know, especially if they're at the bins. I don't really care as much what brand they are. They seem to sell. Next, I have this rust-colored, it's a really soft knit long sleeve top, kind of like a sweatshirt type of thing, and it has a cool open back. It's from American Eagle. It's a size medium. This is another rust colored waffle knit, like thermal type of thing. It has flare sleeves, very cozy. It is from Meadow Rue Anthropology. It's a size large, I believe. So yeah, it's really nice. Next, I have these Chico boyfriend jeans. I don't think I've sold Chico before, but I picked up a few items from Chico's this weekend mainly to put on eBay because I thought they might do well there um and I don't mind trying them if they're from the bins because they're cheap so yeah and I love having larger sizes in my closet too so this is it's just old navy but it's such a nice cardigan it's an extra small it's a really nice thick like chunky knit so warm and perfect for spring to like to transition into a warmer season this is an open front loft cardigan i love selling loft it's one of my really good bread and butter brands especially if it's from the bins i do love picking it up it does pretty well this is i believe it's land's end So one size, it's like a poncho pullover thing. It's a turtleneck and it is like cashmere and wool or something like that. It's really soft. This is another loft piece. I did really like the striping at the sleeves and the bottom there. And it's a size medium. I believe it's like a wool blend. Yeah, it's wool and alpaca, and it does have acrylic in it too, so it's really nice, really nice quality, very soft. These are Lacoste sweatpants. It does say sleepwear, so maybe, I don't know if they're to sleep. I've never sold Lacoste before. I just decided to try these out, 
So from the bins, they have a stripe on the side. And I think they're men's. I don't know for sure. They're a size large. I have two pairs of maternity shorts by Indigo Blue. These are a size medium. And then this one, also size medium. Haven't really sold a lot of maternity, but I decided to try these out. They're from the bins and they seem like really great maternity shorts. So maybe somebody be looking for those. This is an American Eagle sweatshirt. It's gray. It says, just has the word squad on the front. I thought it was really cute. And it is a cropped length. It's very soft. American Eagle, size medium, sorry. Can't get that. This is um, Threads for Thought. It's a 2X. It's just a nice, soft pullover, long sleeve top. Don't really know much about the brand, but I've got it, so. This is a really soft chenille. It's like a shrug type of thing. It's a mock neck. I believe it's sometimes sold at Anthropology, but I don't know for sure. And it does not have a size. It might be kind of like a one size type of thing. This I was really excited to find. It's a J. Crew wool blend coat. J. Crew size 12. It does need to be cleaned up a little bit. A lot of this stuff does need some work because it is from the bins and there's often, you know, like pilling or something like that. So just need to clean it up a little bit and we'll be good to go. These are really cool. They're vintage Jordache cutoff shorts. I might distress them a little bit. I'm not sure. I have a pile of um, denim that I want to make into cutoffs and do some distressing on. So I might add that. These are a size three to four. I'll have to see if that's, cause I know vintage runs small sometimes. So I'll just add measurements if it's, if they're a different size. This is just J Jill. I do love having J Jill for eBay and it's a long sleeve. It's very soft, very springy, has a tie on the front. This is a ribbed free people tank top. I'm not sure if I'm going to put it on Poshmark. I might just take it to Plato's since it is very basic. I don't know if it's worth it to put on Poshmark, but it's a size medium. This is a Lands End sweater. It is the drifter sweater. I haven't figured out if it's a men's or a women's. I think it's a men's, but I don't know. It's a really nice cable knit sweater. A nice blue color. This is a Michael Kors, Michael by Michael Kors sweater. It's a size small. It's a cowl neck. It's kind of a, like a waffle knit sweater. It's very soft. And I have a pair of vintage Levi's. They are already, they are shorts. I did notice they have Kind of a hole like distressing there and that might i don't know i might try to fix that somehow hopefully i can do that but i'll probably cut them off and distress them some more make them look nice i think it says a size 13 but i'll have to do measurements and stuff because they're always different sizing so this is a free people top very flowy has a cold shoulder like billowy sleeves and then has a tie on the back. Free people size extra small. This is a lathe blouse. It's a size medium. It's a button down. It's kind of oversized, really nice top. Oh, this is for me. I picked this up for me. I really like matching PJ sets, so I just got that. And then the pants, I couldn't believe I found it. I found the top at first and was hoping 
that I could found, find the pants. And then I found the pants at like the other end of the row or something. I couldn't believe I found it. And this one is also probably for me because I've been looking for a coat like this. It's, um, what is it, Smith, Smith and Hawken. I think it's a Target brand, but it's just a nice tote because I was needing one of those. This is a blue faux suede skirt. It's from Blue Rain, sold at uh, Fran Francesca's. And it is brand new with tags. It's really cute, just a little mini skirt. These are Harper. I believe they are also sold at Francesca's. They're size 30 and they're very high-waisted. They're a very nice pair of jeans with a step hem. So I don't know how these will do, but I just thought they were really nice with the very high-waisted and, and the step hem to make them unique. This is Charter Club. It's a size large. It's a really nice ribbed long cardigan. I love selling cardigans. They do really well. So I, if they're really nice and I don't always, like I'll pick them up even if it's not a great brand sometimes because they just, they often will sell well for me. This one, I'm not going to try to pronounce that. I'm not sure what it is. I bought it based on um, quality, like the feel of it. I just thought it felt really good. It has a nice striped detail on the bottom. Um, the materials, it has cashmere and mohair in it, set like 80%, 88% cashmere. So I decided to try it out. I have to do some more research on it, but I thought it was really cute. It has um, like one cold shoulder, one open shoulder. And this is just for me. It's just a Reebok workout top because I need some more stuff like that. This is a Pink Floyd graphic tee. It's a really nice blue color. It's a nice big size and extra large. This is a marled sweater from Victoria's Secret. In size medium. It does have a spot on the front that I need to stain treat, but it's a nice sweater. These are J. Jill. Again, I love picking up J. Jill for eBay. They're size large petite. I thought they were really nice, like a wide leg pant. They're stretchy. And they seem to be very comfortable. Oh, I was ex really excited to find these. They are American Eagle. They are a mom jean, American Eagle. And they're size 12, which is great, a larger size. And they are, they're from 2019. So they're not even a year old. They were from April, 2019. So I was very excited to find these. They have some light distressing, distressing on the, I'm there, so super excited to list those. This one is a kind of a color block Vince Camuto sweater, size extra small. It's very lightweight, so it'd be perfect for spring if you want a lighter, lighter weight sweater. This needs a little bit of work. I just need to clean it up a little bit, but, and it's really washing out the, ca the camera here. Um, it's vintage LL Bean. It's like a pullover thing. It's a size medium. It's really nice, really cute. This is a Lucky Brand sweater, a nice blue color with some lace detail on the bottom. And I like the textured knit. It's really nice, size medium. Next, I have a Chico sweater. It's more purple than what is showing on camera. Um, and it has a cow neck, it's like a rib knit. It's a size two. I'll have to check and see what, cause this is vanity sizing. So I'll have to check and see what the regular size would be. This one is a, I think it's a men's, but it's a Polo Ralph, Polo Ralph Lauren size extra large. But what I'd like to do is crop it and then it'll be a really cute sweatshirt for somebody to wear. All right, I have this light blue 
hooded sweater from American Eagle. It's a size medium. It's their jegging fit sweater. I do believe it has some wool in it too, but it's really soft, really cozy sweater. And then actually the rest of this stuff, what the stuff that I just showed you was from the Goodwill outlets. So it was about an hour away from my house, the first store I went to. And then the rest of, or the stuff right after this is from the Goodwill, from the 99 cent sale that I went to. That Goodwill was close to my house. Um, so this is a rust colored sweater. It is from Chico's and it has this gold um, button. I don't know whatever that is on the side on the sleeves um, yeah a very pretty color this is a moth cardigan it's a nice green color nice for spring it's a pretty long like duster length which is great it has pockets and it's a size extra small I found a lululemon bra it's a size four. It's just a nice camo sports bra. And I have this bra as well. I do like picking up some bras. I have, I found this brand before at the bins and it did really well. Like they all sold for in the 25 to $35 range and they all sold within a few weeks. So I do like picking this brand up if I find it for a good price. I have this, what brand was it? I think it's a Point Sur from J. Crew sweater. It is definitely a wool blend, so it's really nice and warm. It is cozy, size medium. It just has a cowl neck. It's a nice wide sleeve sweater. This is a Ted Baker romper. Really nice floral on the top and then attached black shorts. They do have pockets. A zipper on the back and it's a size 4 in Ted Baker sizing I'll have to look it up to see what that translates in US sizing I forget how that works this is a Lane Bryant yeah Lane Bryant black blazer size 22 like I said I do love carrying big sizes and especially when I can you know when I find something like this for a dollar I'll like to pick it up that one needs to be cleaned up a little bit this is a it's a vintage cabela's fleece pullover or like sherpa or whatever and i have actually sold this exact one before i think it was just the exact same size and i sold it on ebay for i think 25 to 30 dollar range and it sold very quickly and what i was drawn to about it was the detailing on the sleeves and then like on top there because it just gives me very boho vibes and like southwestern so I like to use that as keywords this is a Vince size small I believe it's wool and cashmere blend it's a just a long sleeve sweater dress definitely not the right season for it but for a dollar I couldn't pass it up you know this one also needs to be sweater shaved a little bit and cleaned up a little bit. It is Harper Lane, which I believe is sold in stitch, stitch fix boxes at times. And it's a size medium. It's a mock neck, has point tail detail on the back. Stitch fix brands usually do pretty well for me. So I do like to pick them up when they're cute. This is a new day. It's just from Target, but some of these, if they're for the right price, they sell, I will pick them up because they sell very quickly. Even, you know, even if it's just like 15 to $20, it's a nice rust color. I think the camera was kind of washing it out a little bit, but yeah, it has pockets. I might be keeping this one for myself too. I'm not sure, but it's just really nice. So this is Ann Taylor, size extra large. I love selling Ann Taylor sweaters. I believe this one has cat, maybe has cashmere in it. Look, no, it's just wool, acrylic, nylon, and wool. It's just a very soft, very soft sweater. It has this like braided, kind of braided detail on the sides, and 
have like a wide sleeve. This is another Ann Taylor sweater. Another one of my really good bread and butter brands. I love selling it, picking it up if I find cute stuff, especially at the bins. It's a great price. And it has a pattern on the back. It's a really nice spring sweater, you know, because it's, yeah, the pattern on the back. This is a loft blouse. It's a size medium. The burgundy floral pattern. It's really cute and flowy. Billowy sleeves. Perfect for the spring, the tie on the back. This one, I love this one. It's a green plaid size small. It's a button, button kind of like a button down peplum top the cups this is it's Iman I guess that's how you pronounce it size small it's a gray kind of like knit blazer it's very soft and it seems to be very comfortable it has detail on the sleeves you can cuff them up or you can just wear them like that This is People Like Frank, which I believe is sometimes sold at Anthropology. I'll have to do some more research on it. But um, again, it's a cardigan. Cardigans do very well for me. And this was a dollar, so I was like, sure, I'll pick it up. It has zipper detail on the front. This is a Madewell cropped black sweater. Needs a little bit of cleaning up, size medium. It's really cute. I think it has merino wool in it. Yeah, merino wool and alpaca. This is Vintage Havana, which I don't always pick up, but if it's really cute and trendy, I will. And this is just really nice black chenille cardigan. And it does have some like distressing or whatever detail on the bottom there, kind of like fringe. It's so soft. This is Out From Under, sold at Urban Outfitters. It is a size small. It's a really nice lavender thermal, kind of an oversized fit. It's perfect for the spring. Such a great color. Oops, I just dropped that. This is also just Target, a new day, size medium. It's a really nice chambray romper. I might try this one on for myself too. I'm not sure, but it has a wrap front. There's a snap right there, so you can open that. But yeah, this is just really nice for spring and summer. I found another Lululemon piece. I do not find Lululemon very often. And it's funny because I have found, I believe I found Lululemon three different times and I always find more than one piece. The first time I found like three pieces. The next time I found, I was at a yard sale and I found 20 pieces and they were a great price. I couldn't believe it. And then this day I found, I also found three pieces. I found the bra I just showed you and then I found this. And then when I, when I went to the bins later that day, I found another piece. So I was really excited about that. Like it's so fun if I find one, I always find more. So hopefully that'll keep, that'll continue happening. And this one still has the tag in there, which is great. It's a size 12. It's just like a pullover knit top. I think it does have thumb holes, let me check. Yeah, it does have thumb holes. Like that. Oh, and you can like cover, I think you can cover your fingers with that. I don't know how that works. And this one is really cool because it has, it has some quotes, different quotes on it. I saw that one and I saw one in one of the pockets too. Let me see if it has one in here. It doesn't have one in there, but there was one in this pocket right here. thought it was in here. Okay, never mind. I don't know where it was, but I know I had another quote somewhere and I thought that was really cool. So, but I'll show you the label on the back. 
logo on the back there. And then the rest of these items are from my from my local bins that I went to after I went to the regular Goodwill. This is a nice lavender vintage wool blazer. I do love selling these. They seem to do pretty well. It's a size 14. Just a really nice qual quality blazer. Really nice color for the spring. This one is just for myself. I need some new stuff. It's a um, Knox Rose, Knox, yeah, Knox Rose from Target, size large, rust colored top, and I really like the crochet sleeves. It reminds me of a Free People thermal, so I'll take that. This is my other Lululemon that I found. It's so soft, and it just has like a cowl neck. It does not have the tag in it, but it does have the logo. I couldn't believe that I found this at my bins because I never found this at at the bins and I picked this up and at first I thought it was I thought it was a pair of sweatpants because I was holding it like this and then I I could feel the quality was just so good so I was like I was hoping it was would be Lululemon and then I saw that I had to you know cut off right there I was like oh maybe there's a chance and then I looked and the, there it was, there was the logo. So I was very happy. And I just realized that th this has a quote here. That's where I was, I was thinking that other one had it, but it was on this one. It just says today is a, sh today is a cheat day. Oh, that's fun. So yeah, this is, this is really nice. It's so soft. I have this North Face fleece, it's a color block. It does have a spot right there that I need to stain treat. It's a size large, so cozy. This is a loft sweater, it's a gray loft sweater, basic, very basic, but cute. This is, my roommate did find this for me. Penelope Rose, size large. It's a very nice jumpsuit. Perfect for the spring. It does have pockets, very wide legs. This is a Free People sweater. It's very chunky knit, oversized, size small. And it does have a spot on the front here that I need to get out. This is, it's just apartment nine, but it is 100% cashmere, which is why I picked it up. It's a size large v-neck sweater. Again, it's that really nice rust colored. I love that color and I think a lot of other people do as well. This is a Madewell sweater. It's a size small. It's a cream sweater, very textured knit. And I do need to, I think it shrank a little bit, so I need to work on that. Um, just like soak it in some fabric softener or something so I can unshrink it a little bit. It is merino wool, so I, yeah, I think it just shrank a little bit. This one, same thing. I need to unshrink it a little bit. It just, probably somebody put it in the dryer or something. It is, but yeah, you can fix it. You can fix your sh um, shrunk sweaters with fabric softener and just like work on them a little bit. Sleeping on snow, size small. Really nice sweater. This, I'm excited to try this out. It's a, like one of those gram, grandma crochet square pattern blankets, or like a throw blanket. So I'm excited to see how it does. This, yeah, we'll see how it goes. This is a Bowden dress. It's a size six. It's a really nice jersey knit black and white striped dress. I think it might be navy and white, not black. Okay, and this is the last item. This is a pink blush, which I believe is maternity. I don't know for sure if they're all maternity, but I know they do sell maternity clothing. It's a robe, or you could wear it as a kimono as well. It's such a pretty print. Um, so yeah, pick that up, and it does have the sash I know it's somewhere yeah there it is so 
All right, that concludes my haul for today. Thank you so much for watching. If you made it this far, um, go ahead. If you like this video, go ahead and like it and subscribe to my channel. Um, all of this stuff I will be working on listing this week. It should be, you know, in the next five or six days, it should, most of it should be listed. I will go ahead and link my, um, Poshmark closet in the description below. And I will also link my Instagram page if you'd like to follow me there. I don't post a whole lot, but I'm trying to work on posting a little bit more. Um, so you can go ahead and follow that if you want. Again, thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.